Now let us take second case of L'Hopital's rule when this limit extends to a fx and limit extends to a gx, they tend to plus or minus infinite. So again, this proof is restrictive. We have made lot many assumptions. So in this case, the assumptions that we are making is these functions fx and gx, they are continuously differentiable. Limit extends to a fx and gx, it tends to other plus infinite or minus infinite. g dash x, it is unequal to zero in the neighborhood of a. And then limit extends to a f dash x upon g dash x, it exists and it exists finitely. And suppose the value is l. And we'll also assume that this limit extends to a fx and gx, it also exists finitely. So I'll start with limit extends to a fx upon gx and I'll say suppose the value of this limit is l1. Now we know that it is infinity upon infinity form. So I can write l1 as limit extends to a 1 upon gx upon 1 upon fx. So 1 upon gx will be 0 and 1 upon fx will be 0. So I've expressed it as 0 upon 0 form. Now in the first case, we have already proved that this function or this limit extends to a fx upon gx is equal to limit extends to a f dash x and g dash x when it is 0 upon 0 form. So now in this case, I can apply L'Hopital's rule. So if I apply L'Hopital's rule, I can write L1 as limit extends to a minus 1 upon g square x into g dash x minus 1 upon f square x into f dash x. So I can write it as limit extends to a f square x upon g square x into g dash x upon f dash x. So I'll write it as limit extends to a fx upon gx whole square and then here I'll write it as 1 upon f dash x and g dash x. So now I'll separate the limits. So I'll write limit extends to a fx upon gx whole square and then limit extends to a 1 upon f dash x and then g dash x. Now we know that limit extends to a fx upon gx, it exists and we have assumed that it exists finitely and its value is L1. So I can write this limit as L1 and that should be equals to L1 square and then 1 upon f dash x and g dash x. Now 1 upon f dash x and g dash x. So f dash x upon g dash x, this limit is equal to L. So I can write it as 1 upon L. So if I'll cancel L1 with L1, I can write L1 is equal to L. So by comparing these two values, I can say that limit extends to a fx upon gx is equal to limit extends to a f dash x upon g dash x when f tends to infinite and g tends to infinite. And in no way this proof is complete because we have taken a very special case and also we have made lot many assumptions that these limits, they exist and they exist finitely. And also that uh, we can define L1 and L2 both separately. So all with all these assumptions, we have proved the second case. So, so this proof in no way is general proof and it doesn't claim that this proof holds for all the conditions for L'Hopital's rule. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page, click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.